Hi, it's Mar here with my final booktube SFF Babbles video. And this week's topic is final thoughts. What books did I enjoy the most? What books will I be voting for in the popular vote? I'm going to try to make this quite quick since I don't want to repeat myself because I've talked a lot about these books in the previous booktube SFF Babbles videos in the progress one and the first one. So I'm just gonna tell you what I've read and what my favorite is. So first of course is the best novel category and I have only read one book so far from this but I plan to finish another one before the voting closes. And the books that I haven't read at all and that I didn't even plan to read at the beginning are Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson and A Darker Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab. Because I had read Vicious from Schwab, I knew that I didn't really enjoy her writing style or her plotting, so I didn't read that one. And of course Sanderson's book is a part of a longer series, the Mistborn series, and I wasn't caught up with that, so I wasn't going to read Shadows of Self. Also the Brandon Sanderson books that I have read have been just quite good for me and some I haven't liked, so I knew that his book most probably wouldn't be my favorite anyway. So the only book that I have read so far is Naomi Novik's Uprooted. I enjoyed this one, but it was a 3.5 star book for me, so it was good, but I didn't really, really enjoy it. For example, whenever there was fighting, I grew a bit bored, I didn't like those parts. I really liked the fairy taleish world and the magic that actually used some Finnish words, but I wasn't that into the rest of it, so I don't even know what was wrong, but I found it to be quite good, okay. And the book that I'm reading currently is the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. I haven't really even started it yet, but it needs to go back to the library on Tuesday, so I need to finish it. And looking back, I have read three books from Jemisin and really enjoyed two of them. So this is a pretty strong candidate for my vote. I'm pretty sure that I will like this and vote for it, but if I don't, I will vote for Uprooted instead. Then I'm just going to move past the best young adult category since I didn't actually manage to read anything from that. And the first category that I read everything from was best graphic work. Uh, the one that I didn't really care about was Saga Volume 5. I've lost a bit of interest with that series. Then Descender Volume 1 was fine, but it really wasn't for me. And then there is The Wicked and the Divine Volume 2, which I like, but there's some emotional level missing from me with these comics to really say that they were my favorites. So that leaves Nimona by Noel Stevenson, and I'll be voting for this one. I like the characters and I like the plot, and it's a great read. And finally, there's the best short work category, and I also read everything from this one. The only one that I really didn't like, this actually one that I least liked from anything that was nominated this year, and that is Perfect State by Brandon Sanderson. It just really didn't work for me. I was annoyed at the story mode most of the time. I think I'm going to be talking more about it in my April wrap up when I film it. But yeah, for one reason and another, it annoys the hell out of me. I'm definitely not going to be voting for that one. Uh, then choosing from the two that are left is quite hard, because I really liked both Binti by Nnedi Okorafor and Midnight Hour by Mary Robinette Kowal, but I think I will be voting for Midnight Hour, since I just love fairy tales too much, and it was set in a fairy tale world, and also I nominated it in the first place. So those are my final thoughts and what I'll be voting in the popular vote. I'm decided on the best graphic work and the best short story. I'm not going to be voting in the best young adult and the best novel is still to be determined, but I'm quite sure that it will be the fifth season. The fifth season will have to be a lot worse than I expect for me to vote uprooted instead. Let me know in the comments if you have filmed a video of your final thoughts and I'll go check it out. So this concludes the booktube SFF Bubbles videos. I'm a bit sad to see them go, but I would like to take this opportunity to thank Paul from A Common Touch of Fancy for putting this whole thing up in the first place. And as always, I'll leave a link in the description to the Goodreads group for the awards, as well as the link for these Final Thoughts videos thread, so you can go and see other people's videos. So thanks for watching my Bubbles videos, and I'll see you all later.